This is your choice. Wherever you live, your number one choice is your neighborhood school. Agree? And everyone knows where they live, and everyone knows what the neighborhood school is. Yes or no? Give me a yeah. I was a teacher and a principal for a long time. I gotta, I gotta read the room here. Um, so your number one choice would be your neighborhood. If you're a neighborhood school in here right now, do this. I know we got Hall, and we got Donald, we got Hogg, we got Lanier. Lanier's a little bit of a magnet too. I can't see that far. Boteo, and we got Reagan. All right, so those are your neighborhood schools. Some of them have an innovation model. Oh, I'm, I didn't see you. Y'all gone IV, now you're out of this world. Peeler, International Baccalaureate. So these are neighborhood schools, meaning you live in that neighborhood, you get to go there, period. All right, but they also have room for transfers. So if you live anywhere in the city of Dallas and you want to go to one of those schools, you can walk in and beg the principal to do a transfer, okay? But you gotta live there for it to be your number one school. Then we have what we call choice option two, all right? Which is, I don't know about my neighborhood school, I wanna see what else is available. And with that, you've got either a magnet school or a transformation school. That's it. That's as hard as it gets right there. Magnet school, there's a test. You have to take the form of to, to, to attend. Transformation school, it is sign up, lottery, but they're very unique. And right now they're getting a lot of buzz because a lot of the diversity and the socioeconomic diversity <coughs> on how we pick the kids is purely based on an innovative model and a different way of thinking. All right, if you're a magnet school, in this room, a standalone magnet school, which means you don't have an attendance boundary, 